Yo, so what is good everybody on YouTube? We are back today with a brand new video and for today's video We are doing a career re-simulation of the best shooter of all time Steph Curry Let's get into it. It's definitely going to be interesting to see how his career would have ended up if he was maybe never drafted by the Warriors and the Splash Brothers were never a thing. So we hop into the draft lottery. You see Thunder Wizards have the number one and two pick. And I'm assuming Steph probably will be one of the top two picks in this draft. Of course, before we hop into the draft itself, be sure to smack that subscribe button if you are new. And smash the like button and let us know down below who you want to do next. Thunder up number one pick and they end up taking Cade Cunningham. So number two, it's a perfect opportunity for Steph Curry to fall into the lap of the Wizards. And they do end up taking him with the number two overall pick. The 6'3 point guard from Davidson. So let's go ahead and check out what this Wizards team is looking like in year one. And definitely a little bit different than what it's looking like in real life. We're going to have Steph Curry running the point guard position, Bradley Beal the two, Denny at the three, Larry Nance Jr. at the four, and Andre Drummond at the five. Steph Curry coming in 81 overall here, 21 years old. Of course, was not a straight one and done. And he has some starting badges here. You see some finishing, obviously some Hall of Fame shooting badges. So it will be an interesting first year here, and let's see how he steps up. So at the end of year one here, we got Luka Doncic getting MVP with the Dallas Mavericks. And actually Steph Curry getting Rookie of the Year with the Wizards, which you love to see. Putting up 27.3 points per game in his rookie season in Washington. Also going ahead and making the All-NBA second team in his rookie season, which is just crazy. Helping lead the Washington Wizards to the sixth seed in the Eastern Conference the Sixers actually are running Ben off the bench as well, which I thought was interesting. Figured I'd show you guys that. He's actually coming off the bench as the sixth man. But as you can see, our Washington Wizards did come out as the sixth seed in the Eastern Conference with over 45 wins, which we will take. Of course, Steph having a huge year. And I guess in some terms, having somewhat of a splash brother next to him in Bradley Beal. It's no clay, but it will get the job done. First round here up against the Orlando Magic, Markel Fultz. Evan Fournier, Jonathan Isaac, of course, Aaron Gordon, and Nikola Vucevic, who actually end up knocking us out here in six games in the first round. But it is okay, of course. It is only our rookie season, and things are only going to get better from here. The finals here in year one it ends up being Zion and the Pelicans up against a long shot to make it. The New York Knicks actually coming in with some vengeance and actually getting an NBA championship there with the addition of Kawhi Leonard. Moving us into year two. You see what our squad's looking like. Rui Hashimura has indeed got himself into the starting role there. Off the bench, not looking too bad. And working with a three and a half star system proficiency. Luka gets another MVP. Chet getting rookie of the year here. Defensive player of the year going to Giannis Antetokounmpo. And Steph Curry making the all NBA third team. Despite us only getting 32 wins on the season this year. Obviously a huge regression from last year. 22.2 points per game on the season for Steph Curry. And you know it might be an issue when our third highest scorer is Michael Carter-Williams. With some type of resurgence there. Uh, in, in this year. So in year three, uh, Jokic and the Nuggets end up taking it all. Moving us into year three, Steph already up to a 94 overall at only 23 years of age here. And you can see what our starting lineup's looking like. Of course, Steph, Bradley Beal, Denny, Rui Hashimura, Andre Drummond rounding out the starting five. And off the bench, we have Ricky Rubio, Davis Bertans, uh, Troy Brown Jr., and Michael Carter-Williams. So not too bad. And Bede ends up getting an MVP here. And our Washington Wizards just missed the playoffs with 36 wins. 25.2 points per game for Steph at a 95 overall. Obviously having a fantastic season and putting up fantastic stats here. And a very good season for Bradley Beal as well. But it looks like the team around us cannot get it done. Even with apparently the midseason acquisition of Kevin Love, it still didn't push us, push us over the edge to make the playoffs. Heat and the Suns here in the finals going to a game seven where the Suns end up clutching up and Devin Booker secures himself a finals MVP. Moving us into year four, our team getting a little bit younger. It looks like we added some pretty decent uh, depth pieces here in Jonathan Kaminga. We have Jalen Smith now. 
We have uh, Karis LeVert, who are all added, obviously, in this offseason. So maybe with these additions and the fact that we're a four-and-a-half four star in proficiency now, we can make a run. Nikola Jokic there getting MVP. And Bronny James now in the league with a Rookie of the Year. We barely slip into the playoffs as the eighth seed with a 41-41 and 41 record. Steph Curry putting up 22 Point seven points per game, leading the team yet again, while shooting 43% from the three. Definitely respectable. First round matchup up against the closest thing that the league's seen to Steph up to this point, and that would be Trey Young and the Atlanta Hawks, who are going to give us a little bit of a battle for sure. And it goes to a game seven here, and in game seven, we unfortunately get bounced by Trey Young and the Hawks. 28 point performance there from Trey. 19 and 10 there from Steph. Not enough to get it done for us. Suns and the Cavs here in the finals, where the Suns end up taking it back to back years. This time, DeAndre Ayton getting finals MVP, moving us into year five. Steph now at a 97 overall, going crazy here. And uh, let's check out what our starting five is looking like Steph, Bradley Beal, Brandon Miller. Jalen Smith and Andre Drummond and that bench squad yet again still looking pretty deep. MVP here in year six goes to Giannis Antetokounmpo having a great year and an all NBA first team there for Steph being one of the top players in the entire league leading us to the playoffs where the East was really bad this year that we we're actually able to get the fourth overall seed with a 40 and 42 record which is just about unheard of let's be honest 23.2 points per game there for Steph while getting 11.2 assists a game, really getting it done on both sides there of playmaking and scoring. Our first round matchup is going to be up against the Orlando Magic, Mo Bamba, Jonathan Isaac. Let's see what we can do and if we can make it out of the first round here. And unfortunately, we cannot. Dennis Schroeder giving us buckets off their bench. 22 and 27 in that loss. Big tragic as we go down in five to this Magic team. That we very much hope to beat. The Hawks and Trey Young end up getting themselves an NBA championship, moving us on to year on to year six. And at the end of year six, we got Luka Doncic getting an MVP here, which you'd love to see. 32.5 points per game, putting it all out there. And Steph gets another all NBA first team appearance, despite his Washington Wizards team only picking up 34 wins on the season, dropping 25.5 points per game. Still was not enough for this team to get into the playoffs. Nuggets end up taking it all there, moving us into year seven, where Steph Curry is no longer a Washington Wizard. So let's check where Curry ended up going. So he's now on the Atlanta Hawks, which is definitely interesting. And they still have Trey Young. So obviously, I want them to be able to play alongside each other since he went here. Having them both on the court at the same time would be interesting. So I'm going to go ahead and move Steph to the two just for the sake of the sim. Them both actually being able to play together. And let's see if this is maybe the Splash Bros 2.0 here. Trey Young, Steph Curry, David Nawaba, John Collins, and Big O to round out this starting five. This could be a very interesting season. Luka Doncic gets an MVP here. And we come out as the number one seed in the Eastern Conference going 60 and 22 on the season. Steph putting up 23 a game and shooting a 44% clip from the three, 48% from three for Trey Young as well, coming in right behind Steph as far as points per game. So obviously this team has a lot of potential to make some big noise here in the playoffs. So let's hop into it. First round, we're going to be up against the tandem of Lamelo and Lonzo. Talk about another dynamic duo. We have Trey and Curry. They have Lamelo and Lonzo over there in Charlotte. So let's see how this one ends up going. We find ourselves in a pretty tough one early on. We do end up getting the edge there 3-2. to two, And we end up taking it in 6. You love to see it. Um... Curry dropping 21 and an 18 piece there from Trey as well. Moving us to the second round here up against the Magic that did give us trouble early in these Sims when we were with the Wizards. And it looks like we might have some trouble again. Finding ourselves down 3-0. to zero. But of course we're going to hop into Simcast to see if we could potentially try and make somewhat of a comeback here. And we do end up actually getting a game there. 123 to 116. Getting us one back with a 34 piece there from Curry to keep us alive. Bring us back. Trying to fight to get back to 3-2 and two in the series now. As we did just get one game. So of course let's hop into Simcast. 
for another one here and see if we can fight back another game. And it would be huge if we could. And it's looking good here as we end up taking it 130 to 110 this time. Trey taking the reins there, 35 and 31 piece from Curry. Now we have the opportunity to fight for a game seven here. And can our guys crack off three straight? And it's a very close one here at the end of the game. And we ultimately end up rolling it a little bit. 132, 1 at 21 there as Steph leads the charge with a 35 piece. And we are in game seven. Can we potentially come back from a 3 to 0 deficit? And yes, sir, our Atlanta Hawks can. Taking it 132 to 104. Trigger Trey dropping 26 and a 23 piece from Steph Curry as well. You love to see it. Getting our Atlanta Hawks to the Eastern Conference Finals just like that. Where we're going to find ourselves up against Jimmy Butler, Kevin Love, Bam Adebayo, and the Miami Heat. And in another spooky situation, boys, here in the Eastern Conference Finals, we find ourselves down 3-1 to to this Heat team. And we find ourselves in a back and forth one here that's either going to send us home or take us to another opportunity. And it's looking okay now as we started getting a little bit more of a comfortable lead. And as we're cracking down here, it's looking good. 139 to 130, we end up taking the game, bringing us back to a 3 to 2 deficit here. And giving us now the opportunity to push this one to a game seven. Do we have what it takes? Are the big time players going to show up? And yes, sir, they are. Steph Curry dropping 34 in that. Getting it done for us. Game seven. Back to back. Can we clutch up? Can the Atlanta Hawks take it home? The Heat coming out to a very early lead here. And in the fourth, we start taking the edge here with a 14-7 run to start off the quarter. And we end up getting a pretty decent lead here in all honesty. And when it comes down to it, 136-122. Steph Curry dropping another 33 in that game. Trey dropping 17 as well to get us against all odds to the NBA Championship where we're up against Amani Bates. Nikola Vucevic and the San Antonio Spurs, the number one seed from the Western Conference. Of course, let's get into it and see what happens. And man, oh man, this is not an easy path for us. We find ourselves down 3-1 yet again. We hop into SimCast here and we end up taking this game 126-114, battling back, bringing it to 3-2. Let's see if SimCast can give us some more fight here, boys. A pretty solid first quarter. We lose the second quarter. We win this third quarter. And they are taking this fourth quarter. But it was not enough. We end up taking a dub by two points there. 123 to 121. Going to game seven. Can we get Steph Curry his first NBA championship here? After coming down 3 to 1 in the series. And it's back and forth to say the very least. We might even have to hop into this if it gets too spooky. But we're at about the one minute mark. It is a five point game. We hop into this bad boy as Amani Bates drives in and gets the and one to go, making it a two-point game with 59 seconds left on the clock. Steph Curry inside to Big O, getting us a bucket. Four-point game, 51 seconds left, and this man, Amani Bates, catches another body, making it a two-point game inside the John Collins. John Collins to Big O, and it is swatted. San Antonio ball down two right now. Steph Curry, player of the game so far. 30 points on 12 of 18 shooting. And man, oh man, this could get really interesting here. Amani Bates drives in and a huge steal there as we take it to the other side. Get fouled, hit our free throws. A three that does not go, but they do get the tip in. Nine seconds, two point lead. We go to the line, make it a four point game, throw up a prayer three and after all the sweating in this series our Atlanta Hawks Steph Curry and Trigger Trey get an NBA championship in I believe year six or year seven of this sim not bad at all definitely interested to see which one of the guys actually ends up getting finals MVP and what these stats were looking like from this game so let's hop into it and check these out Steph dropping 34 points, 9 assists as well, 5 of 7 from 3. Uh, Trigger Trey dropping 18 in that one. And Steph Curry gets himself a finals MVP in this as well, moving us into year 8 of the sim. Where 
Steph Curry is now not with the team anymore. He has gone to the Rockets, of course. Now that we're not playing alongside Trey, I'm going to allow him to move back to the point guard position because that's where he belongs in all honesty. He was only at the two because he had Trey next to him as well. And we couldn't put Trey at the two being six foot one, really. So he's in uh, Houston playing alongside Colin Sexton. So let's see how this year ends up going here with this whole crew. And not how we would hope by any means. 39 and 43 record while heading to um, Houston. Not really what we were hoping for. Steph Curry putting up 24.3 points per game. So obviously fantastic stats on his behalf. Colin Sexton putting up just about 24 a game as well. So it's definitely unfortunate that his first year in Houston, he did not end up making the playoffs. But maybe they just need a little bit more chemistry. We're watching the finals from the sidelines here, of course, and the Memphis Grizzlies end up taking it with John Morant getting himself a finals MVP, which I feel like is just like a heartfelt thing everybody would like to see. Everybody thinks that Ja is just a grinder and definitely wants him to do well in the league. As we go ahead and move into year nine of Steph's career here, and he is still with the um, Houston Rockets, of course. The team around him looking somewhat similar, I suppose. They did add Mitchell Robinson and now have Colin Sexton actually coming off the bench as the sixth man. MVP here going to Giannis Antetokounmpo and our Houston Rockets turning it around big time. Getting the third seed in the Western Conference. 22 points per game for Steph here while shooting a 43% clip from three. So definitely cannot complain about that even one bit. And we actually have Christian Wood as our starting power forward here working with a four-star system proficiency and a first-round matchup up against a team that did just win a championship a couple years ago in this Nuggets team. They no longer have Jokic as their starting center, though. It's actually Zubak, so maybe it's a little bit different than what that team was when they got themselves a chip. We hop into Simcast here in Game 7 and end up taking it by three points with a 32-point performance there from Steph on pretty good shooting as well. Moving us to the second round where we're going to find ourselves in a matchup up against Donovan Mitchell, De'Aaron Fox, and the Utah Jazz. Thankfully, we beat them pretty easily, 4-2-0, taking it in a clean sweep from them. Steph Curry dropping 31 in that win, and we move on to the Western Conference Finals where we find ourselves up against the Sacramento Kings, the number four seed in the Western Conference, who are definitely giving us a huge fight here as we find ourselves down in the series 3-2. And we hop into Simcast to see if we could push it to a Game 7. And it's not looking great here. But we're going to see if we can maybe go on a run. And it's really close, honestly. It's all tied up at 117 with 43 seconds left on the clock here. As the clock is ticking down. Out for 3. And that could have been a huge dagger for us. And we just let them get the offensive rebound. Jared Allen sells it, though. We have the ball on the other side of the floor. Driving in, getting fouled, thankfully, because probably should not have driven in on a double team there. But it is what it is, and we end up taking it 119 to 117 after some fouling. It is what it is. 15 there from Curry to help us get the dub. Moving us to a game seven opportunity here, in which it looks like we're smoking this Kings team. 140 to 115, we end up taking it. Curry dropping 28 in that game as well. Moving us back to the finals. Up against LaMelo Ball and the Charlotte Hornets. And man, oh man, LaMelo Ball snapped out on us to get a 4-2-0 clean sweep over us. A 27-point performance there from Steph was not enough, apparently, to get it done as we move into year 10 of the Sim. Steph still hanging around with the Rockets, of course. You see what our team is looking like. A little bit different. We have Nikola Vucevic and Steven Adams now as well. And we're working with a four-star system proficiency, so let's get into it. And when we hop into it, Steph ends up getting himself an MVP season this year with this Hornets team, with this Rockets team, and securing us the number two seed in the Western Conference on about 25 point per game scoring and shooting 45% from three. Absolutely lighting it up on some sharp shooter mentality. You love to see it. Some good play from some of our other players as well. And I'm excited to see what this team can do this year. Of course, with our performance last year being pretty good and then having a tragic end in the finals, it could be even better this year. So let's hop into it. First round, we find ourselves up against a Clippers team led by Jason Tatum, actually. 
So let's see if we can get a dub here and move out of the first round. Finding ourselves up 2-1 to one early, but they definitely have some fight in them. 3-2, to two, and hopefully we can take it right here and not even have to go to a Game 7. That would be perfect, but with our luck, we might have to. Thankfully, we only have to go to 6 in that one, moving us to a second round matchup up against the San Antonio Spurs, who actually have our former teammate, Christian Wood, starting at their power forward position. And we find ourselves up 3-2 to two and end up taking that one in 6 as well. With Steph dropping 30 and another 32 there from Colin Sexton. Western Conference Finals up against the Nuggets who added Devin Booker. Definitely makes them a lot more deadly than previous. And we get three straight games on them there to bring us back 3-2. to two. We hop into SimCast here and see if we can end it here. If we're going to have to go to a Game 7. And thankfully we take it there. 134-118. to 118. Getting it done. D-Book dropping 27 but a 40 piece there from Steph. We will take it, moving us to the finals here up against the Brooklyn Nets, who are still have uh, Jalen Green, Terrence Clark, uh, some decent players here. Marquise Chris is actually their starting center, which uh, is interesting to see. But we find ourselves in a battle here where we find ourselves down 3-2. to two. Of course, you know how this goes. We're going to hop into SimCast and see if we can push this to a Game 7 potentially. And it's very back and forth here. We might even actually have to hop into the game itself as we find ourselves up. Ooh, it's tied up. We're up by 3 here and we end up taking it by 4 points there. Jalen Green dropping 37 and Steph dropping 23 to lead the charge for our Rockets team. Moving us to a Game 7 situation here. We get we lose the first half, but the second half and especially fourth quarter, we're coming out very strong. Finding ourselves up 126 to 117, and we are going to be able to round this out. 132 to 122. Steph Curry getting himself a finals MVP and his second NBA championship with a 36-point performance there in game seven. Moving us on to year 11 now, two-time NBA champion, Stephen Curry, still hanging around with this Rockets team at a 98 overall. Not bad by any means. You see what our starting five is looking like. Pretty solid to say the least. We got Tyrell Terry actually coming off the bench as our sixth man now. And we're working with a four-star system proficiency. So let's get into it. Giannis Antetokounmpo getting MVP here. Steph making the All-NBA first team yet again. And our Houston Rockets coming in as the number three seed in the Western Conference. You love to see it. 22.4 points per game for Steph. And our first round matchup is going to be up against the Suns. They actually have Bronny and DeAndre Eaton. So this team is no joke. We're the three seed. They're the six seed. But this is one strong six seed. Finding ourselves down three to one in the series. But we are fighting back. Getting it to a game seven yet again. Because apparently we're the kings of going to game seven. So let's hop into SimCast and see just how this one actually ends up going. So we hop into SimCast, they get the first quarter and the second quarter, so they win the first half. We have a very strong third quarter, and we end up taking the L, unfortunately. Huge game there for some of their guys, but it was not enough to get it done. Steph only dropping 14, but hey, one year that we get bounced in the first round is not the end of the world. The Nuggets end up taking it all there and helping us move to year 12. Steph Curry no longer with the Rockets, signing with the Utah Jazz and free agency, where he's going to be playing alongside Donovan Mitchell. Scottie Pippen Jr. actually getting MVP with the Suns this year. Interesting to see. But our Jazz team putting up 50 wins on the season, so really not bad. Steph putting up 21.1 points per game. Second highest on the team in scoring was, of course, the Don Donovan Mitchell. And we find ourselves in a first-round matchup here up against the Denver Nuggets, who are obviously one of the more competitive teams in these Sims up to this point. And we find ourselves down yet again, 3-1. to one. But we get two straight, so we're going to be going to a Game 7, and hopefully it's better luck than last year. And yes, sir, it is. We end up taking the dub. Moving to the second round here up against the Pelicans, who actually are still starting TJ Warren at the small forward position, which is interesting. And a pretty easy dub against them, in all honesty. No Game 7 there for sure, as we sweep them 4-0 to with Steph dropping 31 in Game 4 there. Western Conference Finals up against the Sacramento Kings, who have 
definitely put up a fight against us in the past, and we find ourselves up 3-2 and end up taking it in 6. Donovan Mitchell dropping 34 in that dub, moving us to the finals up against our former team, Trey Young and the Atlanta Hawks, who go up early on us 2-0, but we get two straight back and actually find ourselves getting up a game in the series 3-2 here. It could be very make or break here, back and forth, and we end up taking it. Steph Curry outplaying his former teammate Trey Young, getting it done in a six-point dub there, securing finals MVP with a 27-point performance there in that huge game. Moving us into year 13, our, Hughes, our Utah Jazz coming is the number two seed in the Western Conference, another 25-point per game season for Steph, almost 26, 25.7 points per game. Lots of accolades for him here. Jalen Lewis, his second in command, 88 overall. Big man. And you see what the squad's looking like. Not bad by any means. So let's hop into the playoffs here and hope we can make some noise. And here we are with this Jazz team. A first round matchup is going to be up against the seventh seeded Clippers here, who honestly have a pretty interesting team, including our former player himself, Nikola Vucevic. We end up taking it in a 4-2-0 victory, where the second round here, we're up against the Sacramento Kings in another big victory as we end up taking this series in six. 32 points there from Curry, moving us to the Western Conference Finals up against the LA Lakers, who came in as the number six seed. So let's see what we could do here. We end up going up 3-2-0, which you love to see. And boom, another 4-0 victory here as we get a clean sweep on them. Moving to the NBA Finals here up against the Toronto Raptors. who are rocking out with Nicole Alexander-Walker and John Collins. Finding us in a pretty tough one here, 2-2. Two to two, And we're going to hop into SimCast, of course, for these tough ones and see how it goes. So they have a pretty good edge on us here in the fourth. And they end up taking it 142-122 over us. So we have to win this one if we want to push it to a game seven and it's pretty back and forth, but the Raptors end up taking it from us in six. It is what it is. John Collins balling out and getting himself a finals MVP in that one. Steph Curry dropping 23, but it was not enough. Moving us into year 14. Steph chilling at a 97 overall. Jalen Lewis, 87 overall, kind of the big two on the team with some role players around them that aren't too bad at all. John Morant still getting an MVP right here. And our Utah Jazz taking over the number one seed in the Western Conference with a huge season there from Curry, dropping 26.7 points per game, slightly regressing down to a 96 overall. But hey, man, it's no real surprise. It kind of had to happen at some point as he's getting up there in age. Our first round matchup is going to be up against the eighth seed at Nuggets that still have Terrence Clark and they still have Devin Booker. So I wouldn't count this team out completely, but hopefully we can get the job done since we are the number one seed. And it's looking like we might not get that job done. Finding ourselves down three to one, but we crack off three straight dubs with a 36 point performance there from Stephen Curry to move us to the second round here up against DeAndre Ayton and the Phoenix Suns. And in this one, we find ourselves up three to one. You love to see it. Ultimately taking the series in five as we're going to be moving on to the Western Conference Finals. Another big game there from Curry leading the team up against Anthony Edwards and the Pelicans here in the Western Conference Finals. Of course, a young stud there in Anthony Edwards with a lot of potential. Finding ourselves going up 2-2-0, 3-1, 3-2, and they fight back to a Game 7, but we end up taking it. Jalen Lewis going crazy there for us, dropping 30 two and 23 rebounds in that dub moving us to the finals here up against the chicago bulls a tough one finding ourselves down three to one and we get bounced in six it is what it is you cannot win them all so with that we end up taking an l there steph dropping 22 and uh to my surprise here steph actually ends up retiring after that still at a 96 overall when I was doing this, I was like just scrolling through and I was like, hey, I figure maybe we'll check out who retired. And I saw Steph's name and I couldn't believe it. Retiring at a 96 overall with some great accolades, of course, making the Hall of Fame. If you guys made it this far throughout the video, of course, comment down below. Comment GOAT. Steph getting all three jerseys retired with all three teams he was on. And we're going to go through some of his awards, of course, so you can kind of see where he ranked all time. If you made it this far throughout this video, comment GOAT in all capitals so I know you are a true 
Bean Squad supporter. I can show you some love for watching all the way through. Smash the like button if you have not. Subscribe to the channel if you are new. Let me know some of the videos you guys want to see next on the channel down below in the comment section. I appreciate you guys watch for watching, of course. Bean out.